Hello and welcome to another opportunity to attract the man of your dreams and to choose the right boyfriend. And it's very important for me that you choose the right boyfriend because I truly believe that society does a very big disservice to women when it comes to communicating what kind of guy you should be choosing. I mean, let's face it, you as a woman can only choose between two stereotypes, or maybe I should say archetypes, but it's more a stereotype. You can either choose between the narcissistic sociopath, aka Christian Grey, or that guy from 365 Days, or that guy from the movie After or After We Collide, or you can choose the other extreme, which is the typical sitcom dad, or for example in Family Guy, which is actually a parody of the typical sitcom dad. A guy who's a complete loser and who can't do anything without his wife. And that's why it's so important that you push all this brainwashing from society away and choose the right boyfriend. Because I guarantee you, neither the sitcom dad nor the sociopath from Fifty Shades of Grey or narcissist or psychopath or whatever he is will make you happy. But the man who will make you happy is a man who has these qualities, these characteristics that I want to share with you right here and right now. And that's what you can consider the boyfriend qualities checklist. Dum, 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 dum. I know that's a fancy name, <laughs> but the boyfriend quality checklist is basically what it is. Because if the guy that you're dating has these 17 qualities, or at least a lot of them, then it's a very high chance that this is the right guy for you. And the first quality that you should be looking for in a guy is ambition. You don't want to date a complete loser. You don't want to date a guy who's playing video games all day long and who says, oh, I'm gonna smoke another one, I'm gonna smoke some weed, I'm gonna go and play video games for another five hours. Oh yeah, my future, I don't care about my future. How do you want to build a life with such a guy? How do you want to create a beautiful life, an amazing lifestyle with this man? It's impossible. You want a man who's ambitious. And unfortunately, that's something that breaks my heart as a guy. And it breaks my heart to admit it, but it's the truth. A lot of young men nowadays, I mean, it's also true probably for men in their 40s and 50s, but especially a lot of younger men in their 20s and 30s have given up on life. It's what we call the lost boy generation. And this is something that's not only problematic for these men, but it's also problematic for you as a woman who wants to date an ambitious man, because let's face it, there are not that many successful and ambitious men out there. But if you settle for a guy who's not ambitious at all, who doesn't want to achieve anything in his life, I guarantee you, I know it from so many coaching clients, I guarantee you, you won't be happy in the long term. Yes, in the short term, he might make up for it by being amazing and bad or by having a pretty face, but in the long term, you will suffer the consequences. And you will also suffer the consequences, or let's better say you will suffer a lot, if you choose a guy who has no empathy. Speaking of the kind of guy that society wants you to want, which is the typical Fifty Shades of Grey. He's good looking, he's rich, but oh, by the way, he's a complete narcissist who will destroy your life. And believe me, I've coached a lot of women who've been in relationships with narcissists, who got out of these relationships. I helped women to get back into the dating world after such a traumatic relationship. And it never turns out like in the movie Fifty Shades of Grey, where in the end he's all happy deppy in the relationship and oh, he wants to start a family. That's not real life, that's the fantasy. In the real world, it's important that you choose a man who has a high level of empathy. Because if he has empathy for others, then he has empathy for you. And then he can understand you, he can feel the way you're feeling, and then he's able to learn and to grow with you in the relationship. And speaking of empathy, you might also want to choose a guy who has a giving nature, who's an altruist. I, for example, I love to help people. I support different children in different countries. I support their education. I support their, yeah, you can say food and drinks and all that kind of stuff, because I love to help. And this is actually one of the qualities that my girlfriend appreciates the most about me. And it's also, to be honest, one of the qualities that I'm the most proud of. But I had to develop this quality by learning to not only love myself, but to also love my life and to love other people. So what happens now when you're in a relationship with a man who never wants to give, who only wants to get and to keep? 
Well, not only will you never receive a great birthday present, but I mean, that's not something that's that important. But on the other hand, this kind of guy is most likely not a big, how can you say it, a friend of humanity, a friend of humans, somebody who wants to help others, somebody who wants to lift up other people. And that's the kind of guy you might want to avoid because this guy will only want to get and receive and he will never give. And that's also true for your relationship. And then you're in the situation that so many of my coaching clients have been in when they booked a Skype coaching session with me and asked me, Sebastian, what do I do? The guy I'm dating never gives me any love. He never gives me any affection. I'm always the one who's giving. He's just taking. And that's not a relationship that you want. You want a guy who's sensitive and willing to open up. He's emotionally available. He's ready to share his feelings with you. He's ready to be the human being that he truly is with you when he's with you. This is the kind of guy that you can build a relationship with. I mean, there are so many posts on Reddit from women who say, my boyfriend is so emotionally unavailable, what do I do? You can help him to be more emotionally available. You can create an environment that allows him to open up. You can reaffirm to him over and over again that you really appreciate it when he opens up because so many men are brainwashed to believe that the worst thing they can possibly do is to open up to a woman. You can do all these things. However, if this man is so close down, or let's say if his heart is so close, then you have a lot of work to do until you can enjoy this relationship. So I would be looking for a guy who's willing and ready to open up and a guy who's consistent. You don't want a guy who tells you on Monday that he's looking for a relationship and then on Friday after you've been intimate with him, he tells you, um, you know, um, why don't we see other people? Hmm? That's not the kind of guy you can rely on. And the same is also true when you think about it, not specifically in your relationship, but also his life in general. If this guy, for example, says on Monday, I want to start a business, I have this great idea. And then on Friday, he's watching Game of Thrones for five hours. Then he's not the guy that you can rely on. So make sure that you choose a man who's consistent and also consistent in his life, not just in the relationship, not just with you, but of course, also with you. And what you, of course, also want is a man who's 100% devoted to you, especially when you then find a man who's ambitious, when you meet a man who has a high level of empathy, when you meet a man who has a sense of altruism and who's willing to open up and who's also consistent. Then you want to get this man, but you also, that's more important than getting him, you want to keep him. And if you want to keep him, then you have to make him devoted to you. And if you want to find out how you can make any man, yes, also this amazing man, devoted to you, then you can go to gethimkeephim.com slash devoted, or you can click on the first link in the description. And I want to be 100% honest with you. If you decide to go to gethimkeephim.com slash devoted, you have the chance to invest in the devotion sequence, which is, in my opinion, the best program for every woman who wants to have the power to make her man, the man of her dreams, devoted to you. And yes, if you decide to invest in it, I receive a commission for it, but I only recommend this program because I truly believe in it and I truly believe that it can help you. And by the way, if you then invest in it through the link in the description and you send a screenshot of your order receipt to sebastian at gethimkeephim.com, then I give you free access, or let's say I give you access, I mean, it's free, it's a coupon code. I give you free access to a coupon code that gives you 50 euros off on your very first Skype coaching session with me. And you can use this coupon code when you book your first Skype coaching session with me by going to gethimkeephim.com slash Skype. So this coupon code is actually worth more than the actual investment you have to make in this program. So I think it's a pretty good deal. And I think it's also a great deal. If you have a guy in your life, if you have a relationship with a man who has the ability to know his weaknesses and to work on them, what you don't want is a guy who has flaws, who has weaknesses. And by the way, we are all human beings. We all have flaws. We all have weaknesses. But who just says, oh, no, I'm perfect. I'm perfect. I'm great. I'm amazing. I'm incredible. Then you will never build a truly fulfilling relationship with this man. But if you have a man in your life who not only has the ability to know his weaknesses, but also the courage to admit his flaws and to work on them, then this is the kind of guy that you want to date. And speaking of working on himself, the man of your dreams should have the persistence 
to work on himself and your relationship. You don't want a guy who gives up after the first argument because, well, we are all human beings. Nobody is perfect. We have different opinions. We are our own unique individuals. It's completely normal that you don't agree on everything. But if you have a guy who always runs away, who ghosts you, or even worse, who blames you for everything, then you won't have a fulfilling relationship. But if this man has the joy for life, that makes you fall in love with him again and again, then he's the right guy. If he's in love with life and he's ready to let love in his life, then he's also ready to fall in love with you. And what's also important for you, or at least if you want to have a monogamous relationship, I mean, if you want a relationship that's not monogamous, then you can ignore this fact. But if you want to have a relationship that's monogamous, then you want a man who's faithful and for who loyalty means more than just the word. If he values loyalty, if he values faithfulness, then he's the right guy for you. You don't want a guy who tells you, hey, I'm loyal, and then you come home early from work, you open the door, and what you see is him with another woman. That's what you want to avoid. I know that you want to avoid it because I've coached women who've been in this situation, and it's not a pretty picture. And he's not afraid to show his affection also in front of his friends, in fact, he's very proud to have you as his girlfriend, as his fiancé, as his wife. That's the kind of guy that you want. If you're dating a man who tries to hide you from his friends, who tries to show as little affection as possible in public, then this man might also have other women who he does the same thing with. But a man who shows his affection to you also in public is a man who's truly committed to you. And his decisions are also your decisions. In other words, he doesn't make a decision without thinking about how it impacts you and the relationship with you. This is the kind of guy that you want to date because this man values your opinion, he values the way you want to live your life, he values your goals, and that's why he decides not only for himself, but also for you and him as an entity, as a couple. And this guy has the confidence and the perseverance to not give up after the first try. And that's true for his business, that's true for his education, for his career, and of course also for the relationship with you. This is the kind of guy who wants to improve the relationship with you, he wants to make things work, and he's ready to put in the work and to make an effort. And he cares about you as much as he cares about your relationship. He wants to work on things, he wants to improve himself, he wants to improve the relationship, he's ready to build a life with you. That's the kind of guy that you want. And if you want to make this man devoted to you, then you can go to gethimkeephim.com slash devoted, or you can click on the first link in the description, watch this video, and then decide if you want to invest in the devotion sequence. And if you enjoyed watching this video, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Share your opinion, share your thoughts, I would love to hear from you. And I would love it even more if you would hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell, so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.